Hey, Shari, do a thumbs up? Is it helping you breathe? Yeah? My name is Jamie Quist. I'm an artist here in San Francisco. I've been using the biphasic cuirass for about uh, five years now. Before I had the biphasic cuirass, I was tricked for about six years. So it kind of relieved a lot of the, the stress. At when I'm using the device, at first it took a little bit of adjustment, but I can, I can talk, I can have a conversation with somebody and a little bit easier than right now. Greetings, my name is Gary Mefford, and I'm a respiratory therapist and senior clinical specialist with Hyde Medical. Our mission is to see BCV available for every patient everywhere it can make a difference. BCV, by supporting fragile cardiopulmonary systems, can have a positive effect on outcome measures such as decreased ventilator days, ICU and overall length of stay, with improved patient satisfaction as abilities to speak, eat, and drink are not inhibited in any way. Providing this very safe, well-tried, and non-invasive intervention also allows for a lower cost of the management of care for these often fragile patients. In the summer of 2008, Dr. Joe Cronin at what was then called Buffalo Women's and Children's, now of Shy Children's, along with the team from the adult CF unit there successfully treated a patient for persistent air leak with bronchopleural fistula and respiratory failure using the high RTX and the advantages of BCV. Dr. Cronin fought through the red tape and administrative quagmires to bring the RTX to the U.S. from England, where it is manufactured. Even before FDA clearance, he was granted special permission from the FDA for his patient to be the first in the U.S. to use the RTX. The tide of illness turned for his patient through the use of BCV, and he recovered against the odds. Dr. Cronin is now medical director at Hyatt Medical North America. We spoke with Dr. Cronin, and he shares our sense of the BCV imperative. Hello, my name is Dr. Joseph Cronin. There is no doubt that there is some superior aspects to BCV implementation on any patient who has an intact upper airway. I don't see how it should not be used in any case as a first effort to support somebody who's having any type of respiratory distress. Those with COVID, those with CHF, those with cystic fibrosis, those with asthma, those with COPD, and many more can be supported using this mechanism of ventilation. BCV has no risk of barotrauma. And I urge all listening to think about the mechanism of our natural breathing. Think about how the BCV, how it enhances our ability, natural ability to cough, how it allows a ventilated patient to sit up in bed, to take nutrition, to communicate with their providers, to get out of bed, to sit in a chair. I really don't see how this shouldn't be a part of your toolbox. So I urge you all to look into this, research it, reach out to us, and we'd be happy to share our experience and all of the data that we have acquired through the use of this device. The Hayek RTX offers a wide range of treatment options, which are all referred to as biphasic cuirass ventilation, or BCV. BCV offers three basic support modes and a timed airway treatment mode. The secretion clearance mode provides high-frequency chest wall oscillation for thinning and mobilizing secretions, and then cycles into an assist cough mode, which is a very potent means of enhancing expectoration. The Hayek RTX is a negative pressure, timer pressure cycle, pressure targeted, non-invasive ventilator that creates intrathoracic pressures similar to our natural respiration. Utilizing a cura shell that connects to the ventilator with wideboard tubing and a pressure monitoring tube, the cura shell creates an extra thoracic air chamber over the chest wall, allowing for negative pressure support and ventilation to occur. The cura shell creates an air chamber over the chest and abdomen, while the Hayek RTX controls the pressures within the cuirass. The pressure affects the dimensions of the thoracic cavity, thus allowing for inflation and deflation of the lungs. 
inhalation can then occur when the hyac RTX creates a negative pressure within the cuirass. The RTX supports inspiration with a natural expansion of the chest wall and the scent of the diaphragm. In modes that provide ventilation, the RTX ventilator alternates the cuirass pressures from negative to positive. The positive expiratory phase thus creates a compression effect on the thorax, facilitating lung deflation. The resulting negative pressure gradient facilitates airflow into compromised alveoli as well as healthy ones much more evenly. This natural support of lung inflation in comparison to positive pressure ventilation results in better distribution of tidal volumes, little or no chance of alveolar overdistension, a lung protective effect. This also provides all of the benefits of the pressure wave within the thorax of spontaneous breathing. BCV mimics the active use of accessory muscles that we see in respiratory failure. BCV provides a safe means of lung recruitment without compromise to cardiac output. BCV also provides increased alveolar minute ventilation. Additional BCV benefits include decreased work of breathing, improved perfusion of pulmonary capillary beds, improved cardiac output, decreased side effects of positive pressure support techniques, and facilitate secretion clearance. These capabilities enable the RTX to benefit patients with cardiopulmonary compromise and respiratory distress. It produces effective ventilation in both normal and injured lungs in clinical conditions marked by increased pulmonary shunt and increased dead space ventilation. The Hayek RTX can be a highly effective means of a standalone non-invasive ventilator. If needed, it can also be used with ECMO, Heliox, high flow oxygen therapies, and all modes of positive pressure ventilation. The RTX has a very low side effect profile, particularly compared to positive pressure ventilation. It is easily applied and removed and very simple to manage after learning a few basic concepts. So applying the cuirass onto the patient is very simple. The very first thing that you would need to do is to choose the correct shell size for the patient. We have 12 different shell sizes available, ranging from size 0 to size 10. The very next thing that we would need to do is gather the components of the device for setup. First thing again would be the Kira shell size, the corresponding seal size, the whiteboard tube, and the blue Kira sensor tube, as well as the Kira straps. Once we go ahead and assemble them all together, we will turn on the machine and place the machine on the mode continuous negative. We start off with continuous negative before placing the straps on, it will ensure for a natural form-fitting seal on the patient. So we'll go ahead and place the shell onto our patient and make sure that you apply pressure so that the cuirass shell is up against their body. Once we press start, we would wait for the machine to pressurize to the set pressure that we went ahead and placed. So while we wait for that, We'll look at the upper left hand corner and make sure that that's going to match the setting listed here at the bottom. So it says here we place it at negative 15 and the inspiratory pressure now reads negative 15.3. So now we're ready to place the straps onto the patient. So I'll go ahead and gather my straps and I'll place the first strap onto the top and then I'll place the second strap onto the bottom. Once we do that, we can go ahead and press stop. And then we can advance to the other three basic support modes on the BCV or the timed airway treatment modality. The Hayek RTX and BCV. From emergency department to every kind of ICU to long-term care and at home. Can you and your patients really afford to be without this vital piece of medical equipment? Follow us on social media and witness how we change patients' lives for the better. To book a live demonstration with our clinical specialist, call 855-243-8228 or email info at hayekmedical.com today. For more information on BCV, visit www.hayekmedical.com.